Hi Marvels, since I can't give you all a personal tour of the garden, I thought I would do a virtual one and show you some of the cool plants we've got here that you might enjoy. In our middle bed over here, we've got some plants that are lovely to touch and feel and smell. This is one of my favourites. It's called Stracus or Lamb's Lug. And if you touch it, it feels soft and fluffy, just like a lamb's ear would feel. However, this little plant here is my absolute favourite. It's called Lemon Thyme. If you gently rub your hands on it and smell them, oh, they smell amazing, just like lemons. We also have some lovely lavender here and some chives as well, which give off a lovely onion smell. All of the plants here are going to be really popular with our pollinators. So watch out for some lovely friendly bees and butterflies, which will be coming to visit us. This climber at the back here is going to help cover up the wall and is going to produce these lovely purple flowers in spring and summer. In actual fact, we've got a few here just waiting to pop out. Now the garden's symmetrical, so that means it's the same on either side. So moving over here, we've also got some lovely climbers which are going to help make our garden feel lovely and cosy and be really popular with our pollinators. This one here is a Clematis Montana and in the spring and summer it's going to be all covered in these lovely pinky white flowers. These flowers here are really popular with our butterflies and bees and we've got some amazing honeysuckle here which just smells absolutely amazing. Hopefully that's going to climb all over the side fence here. Now in the little planters, just as you come in the gate, we've got some really cool herbs. So this one here is Indian mint. And if you rub it between your fingers and give it a smell, it smells amazing. And this is going to climb all the way down here. And there again is my absolute favourite, lemon thyme. Some more lovely chives. And this one here is called a curry plant. And if you rub it gently and smell, it smells just like curry. Now this one's a new one here, which I found, and it smells just like cola bottle sweets. So give it a gentle rub and then smell. There's a real smell sensation over here. When we move into the corner plants, we've got other plants here, which are gonna be really popular with our wildlife. We've got Rudbeckia here. This one here is gonna come up with some really bright yellowy orange flowers that wildlife are gonna love. And this one in the corner here, I know it doesn't look much, but these little flowers, which are just about ready to bust open, smell absolutely amazing, like Lily of the Valley. Our little tiny violas, they're gonna self-seed everywhere and they're gonna be popping up all over the place. Moving into the middle here, into our last bed, we've also got a miniature buddleia or butterfly bush, sorry, butterfly bush, which is gonna attract lots and lots of butterflies, hence the name. We've also got this lovely plant here, which is eucalyptus. And on a warm day, if you give the leaves a rub, you can smell the lovely eucalyptus oil coming out from them. We've also got yeah, our lovely chives here, look, with some purple flowers just about ready to come out. Bumblebees in particular really seem to love this one. And one of my favorites as well, rosemary, it just smells amazing. And one last little surprise in here is this sage plant. Now, you won't believe it, but if you rub the leaves of this and give them a smell, it actually smells like pineapples. So, I hope you enjoy your virtual tour. Please do come out and find some of these plants and have a little rub, a little touch and a little smell by yourselves. Enjoy your garden.